this video we will answer two specifics about the uh, petadil. Two questions. One, why is the petadil predominantly black? Or also the black felt areas predominantly black. Two, why are petadils silent strong dog type of dogs? This is in contrary to for example Jack Russell Terriers or Parson Russells or Yacht areas who are often quite focal and more of the paying type. So I think those two questions have an answer and I will address it in this video which goes hand in hand. So the characteristics of being black, first of all, will give you quite some uh, insight. There are two reasons, but I will start with the most important reason. And the only real reason in my opinion. These type of dogs are also often used by poachers. And in England, but also many other places around the world, poaching is illegal and also hunting without a permit is already called poaching. If this is the case, there would be very high penalties if you were catched, caught. So for example, the, the gamekeepers, they would search for uh, poachers and if then they, they then find the dog that is, uh, is there for the purpose of poaching, being a long dog, a fast uh, type of dog that can uh, catch rabbits or a dog that goes to earth, they would be in big trouble. The black of these type of dogs would not reflect a lot, so it would be easy to hide. Also because the size they are small, they are easy to hide. And also when the, when the police or the gamekeeper would check with its light, it would not reflect anything. Especially if the eyes are kept shut or place the hand over it. It will be very hard to, uh, to find them. I will I add this uh, portion about the uh, eyes because also lamping gives you some insight that the eyes will reflect, especially on this uh, type of dogs or cats, and will uh, give away that there is something there. So that's the most important reason. A second reason is that warmth is easier to be. Uh, exchange so for example if the dog becomes hot it's easier to um, get the heat out when the color is darker this is sounds uh, contradictory but uh, a darker dog is easier to change uh, um, temperature so either now when he's in the sun he will heat up faster than a white dog for example the white felt areas but it would also um, give uh, it easier to exchange the heat to another surface. So for example, when you have a pan uh, where you cook in, this is also very often black because it then can translate the heat to the meat, for example. And in this case, the black dog would easier exchange the heat to the mud and other uh, things that he was in, for example the fells, the rocky areas, so that would help a lot Hi. to overcome uh, overheating issues. So this is an enormous benefit, but the uh, most important benefit is that uh, the black dogs would be hard to spot. And being a dog that was also often used uh, by uh, poachers, I think this uh, evolvement has taken place other part why is it a silent type of dog because those dogs that are silent would be hard and hard dogs often get more damage than dogs that are paying especially if the petadil is a dog to combat foxes badgers so formidable quarry if the dog is then extremely hard a strong dog and also quite small petadils are I think the smallest type of uh, strong dog, they will sustain a lot of damage. And this is not 
the same as you often see in um, more the white felt terrier, for example, Parson Russell or uh, German Yacht Terrier, who are all quite a lot more the baying type. So why is this? I think it's the same answer. Because this dog often used by uh, poachers, and then a dog that would be very vocal would give the poacher away. And that's something that they didn't like, and it's uh, for good reason, of course. This has led to this specific type of dog that is very shiny, as you can see here, because of its black coat. Also very healthy, and uh, it's also a dog that uh, is not as vocal and uh, really nice to have in house. Only barks when needed, and not uh, before that.